road again, and our very first stop is going to be Booth Bay Harbor. We're going to a brewery called Booth Bay Craft Brewery to visit uh, an online friend of ours. He's a fellow Cirrus truck camper owner, and he invited us up to hang out at his brewery slash campground, and we're going to be there in about 10 minutes, so we're pretty excited. their campers and how they make things work and we also like beer so We are at Booth Bay Craft Brewery in Maine, and we've been here for a couple days, and we've had a great time. They have an on-site brewery and restaurant that we're going to give you a tour of shortly. Plus, we have some exciting news to share with you later, so stay tuned. They also have some nice camping facilities, which we've been enjoying after several months of boondocking. Yeah, we've been on the road like four months, no hookups, and we finally have full hookups here, and it's been really, really nice. It feels like a five-star hotel. So good. We met the owners and they're really, really nice people. And Riley Mitchell was nice enough to give us a tour of the tavern and the brewery. I first met Riley in the Cirrus Truck Camper Owners Group because he is also a Cirrus Truck Camper owner, which is really cool. It's always nice meeting like-minded people on the road, especially when they have a campground and a brewery. So this place is really cool. They even have some chickens. <laughs> and a little garden. They grow zucchini, flowers, and something else. Uh, summer squash. And chicken eggs. Yes. Well, they don't really grow them. It's... Well, the chickens grow them. Yeah. They feed them, so they grow them. There's a dump station right here. They also have cabins, which is really nice if you don't have an RV, but you still want to stay here. And the rumors are that they might be building some family sites in the future. We're not really sure about that, but that's what we heard. So the part we really want to show you is, of course, the brewery and the restaurant. We had an opportunity to eat there last night. It was delicious. They've had a ton of knickknacks, little hidden gems, and I just really love being there. So it's family owned and operated and they've spent a lot of time adding little details. Like their grandparents old tools that they've turned into light fixtures and parts of the tables and the chairs. We'll show you that in a few minutes. We're staying right here. And this is another site. These are all full hookup back in sites. These are pull through. And these are water and electric back in sites.
cute little sights to back in with water and electric over here. A lot of truck. They also offer harvest host camping right up in this parking lot. And I'm assuming probably anywhere else they can squeeze an RV in. That's Riley over there doing some work. He's a busy bee all the time. The ladies are back. Hello, ladies. So this is the Booth Bay Thirsty Botanist. Absolutely delicious. I don't generally like IPAs. I find them a little too flowery, but this one is kind of fruity and flowery. It's really, really good. Come on in. Thank you. So when we were talking yesterday, you told us a whole bunch of stuff about different beams and all of the different things that your family's built into this place. Can you maybe share some of that with us? Yeah, so we, we tore down the original homestead that was built here in 1828, salvaged as much as we could, but we did a project called Beams to Brewery. All the beams were donated from family, friends, my high school, other businesses, other breweries. My dad was able to saw all those out himself because we had a logging company and a sawmill when I was growing up. Yeah, it sounds like your family's done a little bit of everything. Yeah, we definitely have that entrepreneurial spirit. We really like the decor, and it sounds like you guys kind of built a lot of it yourself. And I hear that there's a, a secret room, maybe? Yeah, we do have a, a secret speakeasy that's upstairs. If you can find it and figure it out, you're more than welcome to check it All right, it so out. it really is hidden. It really is hidden. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's, it, it's, a, it's called the tool room for a reason, and that's the only hint that I'll give you. Okay, all right, well we're gonna, we're gonna walk around and see if we can find it. That doesn't look too, too secret. No, I think that's the furnace room. We, we try to be as environmentally friendly as possible, and so we put in a geothermal system, so everything that's heated in here is heated and cooled, with a with a natural groundwater. Wow. That's so the cool. our only cost is to pump the water and then we put it back into the, the ground. So that provides all your heating even during the winter? Yes. Or is it just a supplement? Other than throwing some logs in the wood fire. Okay. Um it, that provides all so it's like enough a, heating needs to keep heat, it heat pump system. Yeah. That really is super cool. Not a bad thing to have in your backyard. Yeah. The fireplace was actually built by my uh, mom's uncle and cousin. They were brick masons, and that's uh, it, it was put down in 2010. So that's the cornerstone of that, and that all leads into the pizza oven. It's all one big unit. So if you want to really, obviously not making pizza right now. This beam and this beam are original out of the vintage house. So you guys put a lot of thought into this. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a working brewery, and it looks like I can kind of see through there, but it says, overlook up the stairs. So that's now you have to challenge. find the upstairs. That thing tool room. Well, this looks that pretty looks very tooly. tooly and mysterious. Headed to the tool room right here. So let's see, tool, okay. That's super cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, I can see why it's called a tool room. <laughs> 
Yeah, so this is like our tool room slash sports room. So we have a pool table. These three tabletops were built out of an old bowling alley that was downtown. Oh, wow. um, and then the lights over that one are uh, pins. That's crazy. Oh, that's a... Uh... It's an old, like, care, that's an old kerosene, kerosene torch. torch. A lot of these tools are like your grandfather's. Yeah, and a lot of these tools them. have been passed down from, you know, even my great grandfather and my great great grandfather. And the best way to, to keep a family heirloom alive is to, to put it on display. Since yeah. we knew we, we wouldn't use them because no one uses the <laughs> hand drill anymore. Really more, yeah, yeah. We have power tools. This was the best way that we could honor their memory and honor their, mm -hmm. you know, their skill. All right, so this is the brewery. So this is the actual brew house. And Brian is brewing today. I believe he's brewing Jumping Rise, which is our summer pilsner. So he's got a couple of different things going on all at the same time here. I'm able to run off this batch, you know, and if it was only a two vessel brew house, I would have to wait for this to be empty to start doing what I'm doing. Right, so I'm able to knock out after this is post boil. I'm able to already collect for my next boil. After the first one, it's about it's about three hours, and I'm just putting. Uh, we try to collaborate with as as many people as we can. That's awesome. So I didn't know if you noticed our mural outside. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That was that was all hand spray painted by the guy that the color wizard, and and he's on Instagram and Facebook and everything. Done a lot of a lot of cool projects for us. Every every beer has a story behind it, um, whether that be community oriented or how it was created. Mm -hmm. um, and we try to build meaning into everything. It's awesome. So awesome. All right, so it's five o'clock again, and uh, let's see. This is the six thirty three Booth Bay Pale Ale. <laughs> Smells like beer. Mmm. So, personally, um, I don't really like beer, but this one actually tastes fruity, so I really like that. So this, this I can definitely use. I'm gonna take that back, though. No, no, no. It's that's my beer. Hi, chickens. All right, so it sounds like you have some something to talk about. Yeah, so we bought our truck camper, a uh, 2016 Cirrus 800, because of watching you guys' videos. Oh, well, thanks. So we love our truck camper so much that we wanted to do a truck camper-specific rally. Our second to last weekend that we're open, October 22nd to the 24th, we're having an tr exclusive truck camper rally. It's all inclusive. Our brisket platter, your site for two nights. We're limiting it to 25 rigs, which is actually more sites than we have. But we know that truck camper people are totally okay with boondocking. Yeah, because you have this big parking area. Yeah, and we have we have 30 amp plug-ins pretty much everywhere. We have a dump station. We have places that people can fill water. October 22nd to the 24th, that's a Friday through a Sunday. And Saturday, all day, it includes brewery tour and we're just we're just hoping to have a really good time with like-minded people that sounds like um it. we've got about eight or nine rigs already signed up so how do people contact you the easiest way to do it is to call and i can get you signed up all right so um, make sure you call yeah if you email me i'm gonna ask for your phone number so that i can call you 
Our phone number is uh, 207-633-3411, extension 2. Well, that's really exciting because there's not enough truck camper rallies, that's for sure. No, there's, there is none that I know of in New England. I really appreciate the, the tour and you showing me around. It's been really fun and thank you for doing another rally because we need more of those. Well, cool. So, well, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. So we're going to head out of here, but we're going to leave all of the information down in the description. If you guys are interested in the rally, make sure that you call as soon as possible because it sounds like he only has like 15 or 20 spots available. The camp spots are great, easy to access, and have full hookups, so you can't really go wrong there. Also, Booth Bay Harbor has a lot to offer. You want to make sure that you check it out while you're here. We really hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.